All right, so let's learn Fiber. So Fiber is an express inspired web framework written in Go. If you come from the JavaScript ecosystem and you work it with Express.js before, Fiber is gonna look very uh, familiar. It has a really good routing, which is very similar to how Express works. It can also serve static files and it's API ready. It has a lot of nice stuff built in to make our life easier. We can do like uh, JSON API very easily with Fiber. It has middleware support, so we can add like authentication middleware, authorization middleware, so it's very flexible. It also has support for template engines like handlebars and bug. And if you are building something that needs to use web sockets, doing that with Fiber is also pretty easy. And let's do in here a quick comparison using the benchmarks documentation inside of a fiber website and here we have a very interesting comparison between fiber and express so why of fiber in here handles like 6 million more than 6 million responses per second with an average of 2 milliseconds latency express can't even do half of a million it's like 367,000 responses per second with an average latency of 354 milliseconds so the compare is pretty crazy. I, I wasn't really expecting this to be uh, to have this huge difference. But yeah, Fiber is really, really fast. Obviously, Go is very fast, but for a web framework, yeah, it's pretty fast. And we have other things in here like uh, JSON serialization. Fiber handles one more than one million with a latency of 0 0.4 milliseconds. Express handled 244,000 responses uh, with an average latency of a bit more than one sec, one millisecond. So yeah, if you if you guys were are very interested in your benchmarks, you can go to this extra tab on Fiber and take a look at it. But in summary, Fiber is fast. It's really fast. So let's see actually an example in action on how Fiber works. Let's go in here to the welcome page on Fiber, and out here we have the Hello road embedded below is the essentially the most straightforward fiber you can create. So let's just copy this and I'm going to create a folder in here called 01 fiber. Let's see the inside of 01 fiber. Let's see start in here. A go mod in it. Let's see github.com slash. I always use my name. You can use yours, obviously. And I'm going to call this 01 fiber. So I have the mod. Let's actually create in here main.go and let's copy this piece of code let's paste that in here and we don't have fiber if you want to just install automatically this pa the packages that we don't have currently in the code we can just run go mod in it wait what am i doing not go mod in it go mod id it's gonna find the package there we go so let's run this in this case in here i'm calling this main.go so let's run main.go and we have the run in here let's try to get to this endpoint in here let's get this url i'm gonna use thunder client you can use postman if you want it's totally fine i just don't have that installed on my machine because my machine nowadays it's not handling many apps open so i'm just using thunder client so that's a get and hello world, which is what we have in here. So it's very simple. We start the app in here, which is a new fiber instance of the app. We register our route in here with the get method and we pass the route path and then the handler in here, which is going to return in this case, send string. And we obviously in here, but the app to start listening. All right, so let's take a quick look on how the basic routing works in fiber. So the signature is very simple that's probably very small i'm just zoom this a little bit All right so this is the signature for the routing and we can actually pass multiple handlers which is something very interesting about fiber so appy is the instance of the app which in this case in here is the app that we created but we can obviously call this anything else like server or instance or whatever method in here is gonna be the HTTP request method, for example, we could have in here instead of get post or delete or patch and so on. Path in here is the path to the 
endpoint. In this case, in here, it's just a simple one, but that could be like alpha id user and so on we can do a lot of stuff and the function is just the handler and the signature in here is gonna always be func a pointer to fiber context which potentially can return an error so this is the route that we currently have it's just a get request to index and the response is just hello world we could also pass some params so let's copy this code to see that in action let's just comment this and in here we could have anything for example let's start this again let's open the client the under client and let's pass in here a param for example hello road value hello road or let's give it a space yeah that's gonna out format this so let's do it this way so hello world and obviously parameters they are necessary in order to access a path for example, let's suppose that in here we didn't pass any value. So this is our route. It is expecting a value, but we pass nothing here. Then we can't get that because we don't have it here like this one without any params. We only have one that expects a param. So Fiber lets us do something very interesting here, which is to just ignore the param if it doesn't exist. Let's copy this and let's try it out. So, our endpoint index endpoint now is expecting a name, which might not exist. So, if the params is not an empty string, which means if we have some value inside of the params, then let's return this. Else, let's say, where is John? So, let's run this again. And we obviously need to restart because we don't have a hot reloading setup on our project in here. So, let's try it out send what is john because from's name we don't have that in here so let's say john hello john which is this one and we also have the option to use wired cards so let's copy this code let's comment this one and this will basically grab absolutely everything that's right after this selection here so let's try it out let's restart the server let's go to the request and in here this is using api path so let's use api and let's put a bunch of no sense stuff in here and that's gonna work api path it has all of that stuff we can also serve static files such as images css javascript files anything using fiber static so let's try this signature in here in order to post I already have it here in the code a folder called public and a very simple HTML file. So let's try to serve that. Let's say here app static. The first path in here is the endpoint, and then which is the prefix, and then the second one is the root, which is where the file is located. In this case, it's inside of public. And in here, I don't need to do anything else because Fiber is going to automatically pick index because of the naming. So let's try it out. So let's do the following. Let's grab this. Oops, not copy paste. And let's put that right here. And that works. Fiber is awesome. This is an example, which is exactly what I have in here. All right, guys. So that's a very simple intro on Fiber. In the next video, we are going really in depth in fiber in order to learn how to use the config how handlers work grouping routing server shutdown serving static files not only a simple html file a lot of stuff and also testing obviously because testing is very important so that's it i'll see you on the next one have a good day